Hey guys, what's up? Filippo here. Welcome to a brand new video. So today we won't be diving inside of Intresolve as we normally do every week, but today we're gonna be talking about one product that will save you a lot of time. So if you are a new by colorist or an advanced colorist, if you are a filmmaker that is start color grading, color correcting during this period, and if you're like in this situation where you don't know how to receive feedbacks from your client while uh, you know sending a grading or uh, the final product to your client, this product will fit your need. And I'm talking about the Colorist Companion. The Colorist Companion is a product that Davide Greco, a colorist from Switzerland, sent me a few months ago. And by the way, sorry, Davide, it, it took too long you know, to make this video, but I used it on a few projects of mine in the digital version. Davide also got the physical version, by the way, of the Colorist Companion, that it's a really great notebook that will help you a lot. And I am here to recommend this product to you because I feel that will help you a lot understanding the feedback routine while working with um, a client during a project will let you save a lot of time and actually rule number one will let you be super organized and if you know me you know that I'm like obsessed with organization I'm obsessed with a, a methodical approach to the color correction and color grading and I'm obsessed of doing things in the proper way so let's jump inside the colorist companion i want to talk about it on the digital version even because you have to know that you can purchase the physical or digital version it has a pdf on on the colorist companion store and the pdf is customizable but i love to use it on my ipad with my pen so i just keep it customizable by hand okay so i just draw on it for each project it might not be the best solution for the digital pdf but it's the one that fits my needs and i feel like i'm comfortable with it it's like i mean it for real but in a digital asset so let's share the screen let's watch it so as you can see it's really simple yet effective you have your date client product so get your product we can call it my project okay so you have your client Let's say the client calls Peter and your date is right here. Look and mood this is really cool. Even because from the look and mood side, you can ask your client maybe one specific movie, one specific seal that he gave to you or a, f a mood. Maybe I might say uh, rusted or vintage. And by these, you might also attach, I don't know, C. PNG, uh, blah, 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 with a name. So whatever you might need. The budget that actually David has said me that he put the budget on, on the companion because you might have to know how much money you're getting from the product and, you know, setting up your timeline, your schedule for it based on that budget. And also you got your deadline if it is completed, if it is not completed. Time tracking, total time, the render. So even for a render and format, you can just draw a circle for the one that fits your needs. So just add some of them, like I don't know, 6K, or you might need ProRes and 8264, but for the ProRes, you might need the 442HQ. So you just got everything there. And then on the feedback side, you might say, I don't know, uh, you might you, you you might send the via frame I hope or whatever you will be using you might send the um, first draft of your grading and the client might tell you at minute I don't know time tracking one dot I don't know where uh, skin looks orange so skin looks orange and you will be drawing X on scan you will be known that you will have to fix it and when it will be approved you will say okay this approved so let me just do this okay so it's been approved or it might tell you the um i don't know what minute whatever it is the grass looks uh to i don't know maybe blue to blue so you will be on secondaries and same thing when it will be approved you will draw uh completed on approved and then you got all your notes down here so you might say 
uh, I don't know, that your client have a specific mood or feel for one thing or another. And the note side, it's really important in my opinion because it will help you not just for that same product but for future project with that specific client. You might say, okay, um, I'm kind of working with this client. Uh, I, I work for this client for like for commercial. I know that he is obsessed, I don't know, with Blade Runner, let's say, or uh, another movie. You know that he got a specific obsession for, I don't know, maybe deep in, deeper blacks, super dark tones, or maybe he don't like, you know, highlights, super... Um, saturated, he might like desaturated highlights. And so all these things will be here on your notes. And by far, I might say that is the best thing yet when it comes to receiving feedbacks from your clients. Because everything is super simple yet organized really well. Because you will be filling up this first part with your client knowing what's the budget, what's the render that he needs, the deadline so you got everything you need on this upper part and then you with all your feedbacks you will be just ready to work with them and resend back your clips in a really fast way so no matter if you're starting right now or if you are a professional chorus this tool will help you a lot during um, the color grading process because when it comes on receiving feedbacks it, it might be about go interchanging mails and just zoom calls and things and just drawing things around on paper and on i don't know notes maybe if you're using um, a mac but with one single you know document you got everything organized there so if you're a digital guy and you love to work on an ipad or just directly through the pdf from your pc or mac do it or if you like the physical copy you just have to know that it's the exact same thing and it comes in a really great shape. So again, thanks David for sending me the Colorist Companion. All the links that you need are down below. Support David, support his work, and save yourself some time during the post-production. And as always, till the next time, be brave and make it better.